let me start the old news bar loop. Where is that? Set that to one. And there it is. Just like magic. Iceberg will steal show, as usual. Ray, thank you for the host. And Fritz, I saw that host earlier. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate y'all. Um, it's been a hell of a month this week, and I am extremely tired, and I have had very little sleep in several days. Um, so, just between the events of the weekend that we talked about on Sunday, the... Uh, a lot of stuff that's just been going on with me personally over the last few days. It's just, yeah, not sleeping very much this week. Um, and while I can tell you, I've I've even been quiet at work, which is Iceberg unusual still for show, me. As usual. Danielle, thank you for the host. I love y'all. Thank you. I see Danielle with the host, and I see Wisty and Jesse Bessie, and of course Ray and Fritz. And there's Miss Quinn. Iceberg will steal show, as usual. And Jesse, thank you for that host. I appreciate you, friendo. Ah, <sighs> Fritz, I would, I would die for a fucking hug, bud. I Iceberg sure will would. steal show, as usual. Wistie, thank you for that host. Y'all are just coming in hot with the, with the love tonight, and I appreciate that. Ah, uh, ooh, the green. I like the green. I like that. That that turned out nice. No, the nice. Microsoft guy likes the green. Hey, listen. What? Hold on. The X. Let's what? be clear. The Xbox guy likes the green. All right. What? What? I know. I know. Uh, but yeah. Ah, uh, this this is the time, Quinn. You're right. Yeah, I just had a lot weighing on my mind and trying to, you know. Make sure I'm doing all the right stuff. Take care of me, which sometimes taking care of yourself is not easy. But you got to do, you got to take care of yourselves um, so that you can be there for the people that need you. And so I'm just trying to do my best this week and do the best I can. And that's all that we can do. Hi, Nova. Nova, by the way. Nova fucking nailed her talk this week at DevOps Days Ukraine. So, you know, fucking Nova out here just doing amazing shit, as she do. She's bad motherfucker. No big deal. Nova, would you like to come in and hang out with us? Yeah, if you want to. It is time for your hoppers. It's true. Yeah, if you want to get in. I love you. Stop it. Sorry. Hi, Secret. And how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, Nova, if you want to jump in voice with us for a few, we got uh, if you get into the stream chat lobby, I can bump you in here whenever you're ready. Um, but yeah, uh, is the music actually it's a little low? I hear it? Okay, there it goes. It was a little low for me, that's all. I seen it. Oh. <sighs> You're at your therapy appointment tomorrow was canceled. Oh, secret, I'm sorry, friendo. Was it like canceled, canceled, or just rescheduled? Hopefully you can reschedule that. <gasps> I see a Nova. Hi, the Nova. Hello. How are you? Fun. I'm doing K. Yeah, good. Remember, hey, remember, remember when you fucking nailed your talk on Boop Kit this week? That was pretty <laughs> awesome. You fuck yeah, it was. Yeah, it Thanks was. Thanks for your support. That means a lot, that meant a lot to me. Of course, of course. Thank you for all your support. I love you. Thanks. I love you too. <sighs> yeah, this, uh, this, yeah, Wistie, this is, this has been kind of a, a rough week, I think, for a lot of folks. Um, I think there's, there have been some ups and downs. I mean, you know, the, the, the tragic events of the weekend were basically in Nova's backyard. So, you know, I yeah. know that hit really close to home figuratively and literally for, for you. 
Um, One of the things that, that like really made me think a lot about the situation was <clears throat> where like we, we both have good jobs, but um, you know, we were at, we were at like the fancy, the fancy white people store, you know, we were at Whole Foods when it happened and it just, it just kind of brought the whole thing home and, and made me realize how, how scary this whole thing really is. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I have folks like you and, and my partner Q in my life. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, it's, I, I know it's sort of a, a worn out cliche, but you know, people say that it takes a village and it honestly does. Like it's, this is one of those things where we have to, to, you know, be there for each other and, and, for everyday hustling. And Ted, thanks for the prime sub buddy. Listen, I know that prime subs are special because you only get one prime sub to use on any channel that you want. And when you use that prime sub, uh, here, that means that you specifically chose me to use that prime sub and that means the world. So thank you very much, Ted. It's good to see you, bud. Um, but yeah, it's like this is it's one of those things where we we have to be there for each other. You know, we have to to try to take care of each other. We have to try to work together. You know, working against each other is just it accomplishes nothing. And I know there's there are times when you know not everybody's going to see eye to eye on everything, but it's important for us as human beings to try to work together and move in the same direction together. You know, and try to take care of each other because that's again, it takes a village. Like no one can, no one can do anything completely on their own. Like we, we're 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 a tribal species. We need other people. Maybe not all in the same ways either. You know, I know there are folks like like Lolly. Lolly is an introverted kind of guy. He's he has his core group of people, and he gets his little doses here and there for his human interaction that he needs. Um, and outside of that, you know, he's just happy living his life, doing his thing. I love you. Hi, pup. Love your face. Um, and then there's times, you know, there are people like me who I'm, I'm much more extroverted and I need to be around people like this. You know, I, we've talked about this before, but how like the, the, the panini has, that was a very stark change for me because I was used to being around people all the time and now I'm around people very little outside of, you know, being and um, the, for every day the occasional, um, you know, little thing that I get together with folks. <gasps> Amy, thank you for nine months. Holy shit. Thank you so much. It is always good to see you. Um... Oh, Wister, you got to get back to work. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you, friendo. We'll talk in a little bit. When you get done with work, come back. We'll we'll talk. I'm. I, yeah. I I have my I have my own story for that. Oh, you have to adult. Okay, I love you, Daniel. <gasps> Secret. Secret. Thank you. Oh my God! And y'all have started a hype train. Holy shit! All right, I'll put on the hat. I'll put on the hat. I know I have like everything else turned off tonight because I'm just like my brain is just fried and, and overloaded and just everything but there you go there's the choo choo for you um but Miss Secret thank you for four months holy cow um I appreciate you very much uh but yeah, um, so I'm just I'm, I'm ready a, to Tokyo drift. Daniel, holy shit! God, that irritates me that it doesn't count toward the hype train. Like it's 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 no fun for it's no fun for y'all. I wish it did, but it, it it's just such a pain in the ass that it doesn't. Uh, but thank you. Danielle, that's very, very generous and kind of you. I appreciate you. I love you. Oh my god. What? Just got an email for a recruiter, and the the subject line is. I love these. These are so good. I have an opening for you, which is for .NET developer. Tokyo Drift. Fifty percent remote all the time. Fifty percent of the time, it's remote all, all the, the time. time. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ted, thank you for those hundred bits, buddy. And Danielle, yes, go do your terrible adult things that you have to do. But I love you. Thank you again. Um, yeah, fifty fifty percent of the time it's remote. Every time, that's outstanding. That is that is fifty percent less of the time I'm remote. Every time currently. Yeah. Right. I should respond with that. <laughs> Like oh that's what are you what are you doing when you're not remote? Uh, I spare ready to Tokyo working. drift. <laughs> yeah, <not> right. <laughs> oh, wait, Amy, it let you use bits? That's so weird. I can't figure out how to spin my my hoppers tonight. If you click on the hopper, does it does it not come up down there? I can click on the, the one, but then it just says pick any game pass, and then there's an X and I can close it, and that's all I can do. Oh, so what you have to do is you have to type in what game you want me to play and hit enter, so oh. while it has the little like notification above it, and then it'll trigger the 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 redemption. And then Okay. The I need bottom. I need a minute. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I'm, listen, I'm really excited about this because I know you've been waiting for this for days. So I'm like really looking forward. Oh, that's why. Because you did it on your phone. Aha. Aha. That's right. Because mobile doesn't, mobile doesn't even support released features, much less beta features. Like the announcement messages, mobile still doesn't support those. So I had some stuff set up to where it was doing shout outs as announcements so that they would show up like Boulder for everybody in chat. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. That's fantastic. I've heard about this game. Like, it just came out, didn't it? I, I hear every time I hear the name of that game, I do not believe that that's a video game. I know. I know it. Like, it sounds like a Florida man story. <laughs> <laughs> like, it really does. It sounds like a fucking Florida man story. This is fantastic. All right, let me go see. Let me see if it's cloud, because I love doing the cloud streaming. <laughs> do, 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 do. You need the cloud streaming. <laughs> I saw your hard Perfect. Drive space. Perfect. It absolutely <laughs> is on. It's on. It's on X Cloud. That's fantastic. <laughs> hard drives stay in blue today. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Okay. Ice My hard, good. More ice. I have beer. more good. Oh. PD Rasta, thank you for that follow. I appreciate you. Um, I I get up. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> One of your friends played Turnip Boy. She loved it. Oh my god, that's there's a lot going on in that game. It seems it does. It seems like there is a lot going on in that game, but it seems like just ridiculous. And I'm I cannot wait to play as a turnip. I cannot fucking wait. <laughs> Nova, that's phenomenal. I, I love it, it so for much. everyday hustling. Oh. I am super stoked to watch this. I'm going to order a huge pizza, and it's going to be underscore stream stream day, and it's going to be amazing. That's going to be so stoked. fun. <laughs> Ace, thank you for the sub, buddy. It's good to see you. How are you tonight? It came out on Steam a few months ago. I think Raichu played it. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, it like it just looks just so silly, and I cannot wait. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, Nova, I love you. Thank you for coming to hang out with us for a few. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm then... excited. So, when when do you play the game? It's on Friday nights. It's on Friday nights. Um, and the queue is pretty backed up right now. Let me go look real quick because I don't even know if I've updated the the actual file. Let me go make. Finally got sure. around to playing one of my three. Yeah. Well, listen. You no. You only have one in the queue right now. Technically. Yeah. I mean, wow. well, technically, I have two. I redeemed one in on behalf of someone else. Well, all right, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so the oh, I guess lurking cause a lot because working for another two and a half hours to go. Hey, Ace, I appreciate you stopping by and for the sub, buddy. Thank you so much again. Don't let work get you down. Let's see what the you pick list is. Okay, so uh, golf with your friends is this Friday. I'm gonna do the Sims Four Two Point Hospital again because that was just. Amazing. Um, Katamari Damacy reroll, which I'm very looking forward to. 
the Halo Infinite campaign. That one back to the bottom one. <laughs> hey, yeah, I got to put that back at the bottom again. Uh, Boyfriend Dungeon, Bug Snacks, and now Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. So, yes. yeah, that's so it's going to be a little bit, but yeah, it's it's going to be this is this is going to be like a, a fun summer play. <laughs> You're a conductor. That's right. That's right. You you contribute. You help start the train. So you're a conductor. Thank you all again. I'm for not that gonna lie. Train. <laughs> I feel like if we don't get any kind of a roadmap for co-op in the Halo Infinite campaign anytime soon, I I, I might just ask you to swap it to Mass Effect Legendary Edition again. I mean that's that's absolutely fair. That's absolutely. Fair. I mean it was supposed to come out this month, wasn't it? They were talking about like a May release for it. Uh, yeah, and I have. I haven't heard like a single good thing coming out of Halo Infinite in the last like month though. So yeah. All right, let's switch over to the big screen and see what okay. I've got going on over here. Nova, I love you, friendo. Thank you for coming to hang out with us tonight. Mwah. All right, bye. Bye. Oh, I love Nova so much. See, see this GitHub here. This is the GitHub of a CEO. This is not the GitHub of a CEO. This is a look. It's a fork. It's not even. It's not, CTO. It's a fork. I forked it. Look, it's a fork. Oh, CFO. Oh, you shut up. You shut up. Because F is mouth. fork. <laughs> the F is for her. Fuck off. <laughs> the, the, the F is for no. The F is for firebot. Forks are GitHub of C. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find it so hilarious, but I do. Forks are get up of CEO. <laughs> Chief Forking Officer. Hi, Pupkin. How are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. So, I've. So, last week, I know I was starting to work on some stuff with making. Firebot do like silly lots of integrate additional integration stuff. Oh, I need to go here for those. Um, when did I open that pull request? Uh about four thirty. About 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 tree fifty. Ace, thanks again for that lurk, buddy. I hope the rest of work goes all right for you. Uh, okay, so I started working on this thing in Firebot called the HTTP Server Manager. The basic idea is that like Firebot has its own internal web API to be able to allow applications to talk to it over the web. Um, really, it's intended to work just on your local machine. Um, and I wanted to be able to extend that to be able to add whatever I want to it, really. Um, and so the, I initially thought, well, I can just spin up additional web servers. And one of the devs is like, and I think we talked about this some on Sunday. Uh, one of the, the devs on one of the, the folks on the dev team, he said, well, why don't we just make it where we can add additional endpoints? We might not be able to do it in version five, but you know, if it's something we need to push out for version six and I'm like, I will make it work. So I made it work. So the long and short of it is I have now extended like the way things can like scripts. And I think we're about to start calling them plugins or extensions or something different because we have like scripts that you can run one off. And then we have like startup scripts that basically, you know, that run the entire time Firebot's running to add additional stuff like the OBS control. Um, and then my project that I've been working on my command center so now that I've got all of this stuff in here, um, and I've I've added in like several things, like I fixed a couple of UI bugs. I had a couple of things in. I fixed a couple of other bugs. I added this other neat thing that really works out well for the stuff that I've been working on. But the point is, the point is, um, I now have this command center that runs it's a script that runs in firebot is this yeah this is this is good um and i have all of my commands here that i want to do so if i want the upick list i can just go boop 
and there's the upic list. It runs the command for me. Um, then I can come up here and I want to do something like where are the, the light strip. If I want the light strip to go, let's say I want the light strip to be red. You go boop and the light strip turns red. I can go put it back to where it belongs. Um, so I had to build out all of this stuff in Firebot to where I could host this page and additionally the status endpoint here that says, hey, command center is running. Um, but then the other thing that I really wanted to do was, so Firebot has this concept of subcommands. And the idea behind subcommands is that you have a command like exclamation point OBS in this case, um, but I want to do different things based on what I put after that. Um, so subcommands will let you do that and you can put on your own custom ones. You can have a fallback one that if none of these match, it does a thing. You can have one that if you put in a number as the thing after the command, you can do it or one that you can do with like a username trigger. Um, the username trigger is something that I use with my raid command. So with my raid command, what I do is if you just use, anybody can just use the, or the, I'm sorry, mods, mods and myself can use the raid command and it does out the, the raid message. The sub command that takes a username, I can go in here. This is where it goes in and it does, it does the actual raid command to Twitch and says, Hey, go raid this person. Hey, look, that's a, that's, that's a, that's not, that's not a raid command. That's a, that's a free company command. That's an Alliance raid command. It's very different. <laughs> um, and then this runs another command. It runs the shout out and does the shout out to whoever I decide to raid. And then it just runs the raid message again to make sure that it actually pastes the raid message in chat. So it does all those things. It sets up the raid for me, does the raid message, does the shout out. So instead of me doing slash raid and all the, the other stuff, I do exclamation point raid and it does all this automation for me. Just all this beautiful stuff. And that's because I put a username after it. And so it knows there's a different set of effects that Firebot does based on the fact that I put in this, you know, this sub command. So the problem with sub commands up until this point was sub commands only worked from inside of chat. So if I wanted to run any of these sub commands under the OBS command, I would have to run them from chat which means I would have to type them all in, do all of this stuff, and it also wouldn't work here because the way that Firebot runs commands and checks for subcommands, it only checks for subcommands in a chat message, not when it run, runs a command from anywhere else. So I updated some stuff um, earlier this week, um, and I think it all got merged in today, I think. Um, but now you can run subcommands from anywhere, which also means that the run command effect that's in here can also do subcommands. So if I do OBS and have some other scene that I want to change it to, I can, and it, it will actually run the subcommand. Um, that's no, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a different kind of command for potentially a different type of sub. But what you're saying is now you can do it without bothering chat. Now I can do it without putting anything into chat. So if I want to go in here and run a thing, meet my jerky. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> discreet jerky. <laughs> Dis discreet jerky. So if I want to do discreet jerky without putting it into chat, I could click the button and there it is. Now it looks like Pup did it, but she didn't actually do it because we're not we're not jerking my meat. We're not meeting my jerky. <laughs> God damn it! You bunch of DJs from up country. <laughs> oh, Wisty, welcome back. So, Wisty, I wanted to come back around to what you were talking about. Um, so, um, I 
I didn't have, and I, I use this word extremely loosely. I did not have, oh wait, hold on, let me, let me do something real quick. Let's go OBS scene full camera. Now you're just showing off. I know, I am. It's true, I am. Um, so I, um, I have a, I have a very wonderful relationship with my biological father in so much that I have none whatsoever. Um, I didn't meet my, as I like to call him, my sperm donor until uh, after I turned 18 and I sought him out. Um, lived in my hometown whole life um knew his family knew like all his family went to a family reunion once he didn't show up like to the one family reunion he didn't show up to his excuse was it was the first day of deer hunting season but the rest of the family was there which sure whatever man you know what do you go do your thing um but he knew i was there and we're we're all certain that he just you know, didn't want to man up and deal with it. So after I turned 18, um, not too long later, I went and looked for him, um, met him and basically determined that I hadn't missed much. Um, when I was, uh, when I was seven, my mom married my stepdad, uh, her current husband. They're actually about to have their 29th anniversary coming up here in like a week and a half. Um, so they'll, yeah, they'll be, yeah, they'll be 30 years next year. Um, and you know, he, he raised me like I was his own son. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I was very fortunate to have a lot of positive male role models in my life, including him. Um, my great uncle that I spent most of my childhood with, my uncle Bob. Um, actually, let me see. I got a... That's, uh, that's Uncle Bob right there. He's just, he's a cool motherfucker. Um, so, you know, I, I had all of these people in my life, and I was very fortunate. I don't know all of the people that your daughter has in her life, um, but she has you. At the very least, she has you. And clearly, you love her very much, um, and she has a very great relationship with you. That's very evident. Like, even just the pictures that you posted the other day from y'all going to get ice cream. You know? Like, that's... Clearly, you and your daughter have a great relationship, and that's that's fantastic. Um, and you, everybody's situation is different, but you know. Everyone, please control yourselves. This holy is a mackerel! Party. And, no! Here comes. <laughs> Nobody expects the landboat chicken invasion. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, welcome in nine and welcome in Raiders. You caught me right in the middle of a of a very serious discussion. Um Iceberg will still show <laughs> as usual. Uh Miro, thanks for the host, buddy. Good to see you. Um so but my my point, Wisty, is that she obviously has a fantastic, loving, caring mother who cares a lot about her. And she's been able to make the decision that she's made with your guidance. And, you know, it's, it's not always great for everybody. Um, it's, it's, that's, it's not everybody can have a good relationship with a parent or both parents. It, there are folks, there are plenty of folks that have no relationship with either one of their parents because it's just not great folks or, you know, bad blood, whatever may have happened, you know, everybody's circumstances are, are unique and different. Um, but she's able to make a decision more ice and more good. And thank you for that follow. I appreciate you. 
Um, but she's she was able to make that decision with your guidance and your help, and she clearly has you there to support her in whatever decision that she makes. And I think she's very, very fortunate. Um, and you know, we we don't we don't get the we don't get the parents we want. We we're handed the parents that we're given. Some of us get lucky. Some of us, unfortunately, do not. Uh, your biological father claimed you, that you weren't his and you only met him once. Your adopted dad abused you and ended up in jail, and your stepdad is verbally and emotionally abusive prick. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's... Exactly. We don't, we don't get the parents that we want, necessarily. We get the ones that we're handed. Um, and despite everything, you have... Um, Thank you, Miro. I appreciate you, bud. Um, despite everything, Wisty, you have obviously raised a very caring, loving, intelligent daughter who's able to make these kind of decisions for herself, again, because of your guidance. And you should be very proud of that. It sucks. It sucks when you have to make those kind of decisions. But the fact that, you know... She was able to do that and says a lot of good things about you as a parent. And I think you should be very proud, both of her and of yourself. Those are my two cents. Take it with a grain of salt. I am not a parent. Okay. And clearly I don't have the, I don't have perfect relationship with my biological parents. Like my mom, we're fine. We're great. You know, I'll see her in, you know, in a week and a half. She's coming down to visit again. Um, but regardless, you know, I think anybody who looks at the situation and especially, you know, with everything laid out the way it is, they would agree. You have done an excellent job and you are a good mom and you should be very proud of that. So that's it. That's all I got. Okay. That having been said, welcome in again, Raiders. Thank you. Nine. I love you, mom. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's group therapy night, folks. This is this is what we do here. We sometimes we talk about the tough stuff, uh, and then sometimes I play with computers because that's what I do. Well, I have my little command center here. I agree. I agree, nine, and that's that's why I wanted to set this up is to have a place where we could come and talk about some of this tough stuff because you know it is tough stuff and we were having a discussion earlier um Nova was here hanging out with us for a little bit and um you know her point was that or our our point at that time was that nobody does anything truly alone it takes a village is kind of worn out of a cliche as that is we all have to help support each other. Sometimes we support each other in ways that we don't know. Sometimes we have to support each other in, you know, ways that we don't necessarily like. But we got to do what's best for ourselves and for each other. And it's tough. It is, it is, it is not easy to do that. That's for sure. I want to talk about how my mean mama doesn't give me all the food I want. Bubba probably. I know it's true. It's true. Poor Bubs. Poor Bubs doesn't get, he, he only gets, he, he only gets moderate snackies and his, and his, his, his fancy kibbies. He only, he only gets fancy kibbies and moderate snackies and the occasional piece of beef jerky from Mo. <laughs> Oh, uh, so anyway, so this is what I'm working on tonight. Um, I'm trying to do some finishing up stuff. Holy mackerel, Miro! That's that's so many emojis. I those are that's that's a lot. I love them all. Look at look at all, look at all these love and heart emotes that Miro has. Miro, Miro, you're a madman, and I respect it. I love it. I love everything about it. I know, poor Bubba, him starving, him's wasting away. What a good boy, though. He's such a good boy, that Bubs. Such a good Bubs. So anyway, so yeah, I've got um, 
Firebot breaks commands down into either system commands, which is the built-in stuff, and custom commands, which are all the things that we can define and create our own commands for. Um, so that's what I do here is I, I literally just say, hey, Firebot. Ice bear good. More ice bear. More good. Rusty Dove, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. Um, so the system commands here, again, are the, the built-in stuff. Um, the custom commands are here, the, all the stuff that I've defined. So I break them down here in the command center the same way, just as you would expect to see them in Firebot. Um, I do system first and then custom. I might reverse the order simply because that's how it is here. Um, but this is more for configuring and this is more for actually using. So folks might be using this stuff more. I don't know. I th I'm, I might reverse it. I'm, yeah, I just... I probably will. So let's go in here and just go ahead and do it real quick because I'm I'm just gonna do it. Me changing a thing that I built, I I would never. I would never do that. All right, let's rebuild this. Ah, uh, we do love us, Samiro. It's true, Karen, and we love you too. You know, yeah. Yeah, you're just going to have to get over it. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules, but them's the rules. Miro, in have have a wonderful rest of your time zone. I hope you get lots of rest. Thanks for the lurk. Thanks for coming to hang out with us for a little bit. And I love you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful day tomorrow. Uh, okay, so that's built. So let me go here. Let me turn off the notifications event set because I know that's going to get that's going to clutter up as I stop and restart the bot. I know there's been uh, talk about like adding support for stopping and restarting scripts, but there's also talk of like an entire overhaul of how that system works. Um, and that like that discussion just started today. Well, it didn't just start, but like the latest big piece of it just happened today uh, over on the uh, the Firebot Discord. So I don't think I'm going to do too much to make that work tonight. I think what I'll do is mm -hmm. I will go ahead and close Firebot from here. Let's go back to this one over here and start it back up to restart my, my script. And so that my custom commands are, let's see. All right, that main window is open, and there we go. Okay, so custom commands are up top, system commands are down at the bottom, which probably makes more sense, given, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, so here we go. So here's all the stuff. So yeah, I like I like being able to to do this stuff from here because the, what's really cool is. Like, say I'm, all right, I had this scenario a couple of weeks ago. This is this is how this all started, all right? Um, so Bean had, uh, she had to take her car in to get looked at, and she went to go pick up her car, and it turned into this, like, whole thing at the dealership. Wisty, thanks for the lurk. I hope work goes smoothly. Um, it turned into this whole thing, and she had to wait forever for the, um, for them to like go see about her car. And then it turns out like that they weren't done with it and blah, blah, blah. The point is, you know, it was after seven o'clock our time, um, before we got out of there and I start stream at seven thirty, and because of like the radio production person in me, you know, I start like, I, I literally will watch the clock and I will hit start stream in OBS at 7.30, okay? 7.30 and zero seconds. Because that's just, I like to be very prompt about that. So, nerd. I, I, I am a fucking nerd. It's, it's true. It's true. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I can get a little sip here. So, I thought, well, what if I had... What if I had a bunch of commands set up to control OBS? Because there are there's the OBS um, add-on that's in um, 
that that Firebot has available. Well, now, now, now you're just showing off. Now you're just showing off. Jeepers, that took me forever. <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> Nine, see now. Now what you need to do is you need to copy those and you need to put them in like a a, a OneNote or something somewhere so that you can just paste them back in later. Okay, you don't have to do it a second time. Um. Anyway, uh, so I wanted to be able to have OBS set up to where I could do um, I get or have the the bot set up to where I could control OBS remotely. So like open OBS, make sure it's on the right scene collection because I have one scene collection for regular streams. I have one scene collection for retro streams, okay? Because uh, the retro stuff all works differently. Oh no, I'm here to give you ideas, Nine. I'm absolutely here to contribute to your delinquency. Um, so what I wanted to do was is have these commands set up and I thought, well, you know, this is this is great and all and i can i can set up those commands which i did and thankfully you know i had everybody reminding me to do it every 10 minutes so i did it um but then i thought i don't want to clutter up chat with all this stuff like i want chat to be for chat and for other people doing stuff not for me just like managing the bot so i'm like well what i i build something to do it and that's how the command center started so what's cool now is like if if I'm somewhere and I need to run a command, I can do that from my phone because I have the command center here and chat next to it. And if I need some kind of chat feedback to say, hey, this thing did a thing, then I can do that and make sure it all works. Why you? Why you? No, what'd she do? She gallop. Oh, well, she's a kitty. I love her. Meow. I love you too. She's the best kitty. Okay, I can't really show you. You can be like, while you make dinner. Hey, listen, Nine, thank you for the raid. Thank you for coming in. Go make some tasty din dins. And fancy has chicken curry last night, so it's hot dog. Fuck yes, hot dogs. God, I love hot dogs. Oh, God, I love hot dogs so much. They're so good. Oh, um, it's not like your execution team named themselves after hot dogs or anything. Hot dogs. <laughs> Bean's like Bean like she's like, what are you growling about? And I go, hot dogs? She goes, oh. <laughs> I was excited about hot dogs. Nine's making hot dogs for the kiddos. Yum. Yum. Nom nom nom. But anyway, so that was my thing. Is I you know, now I can Do I, I look can... like I know what a J is. is? I just there want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Hot, 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 know what a jpeg is i just want a picture of a god dang i love it i love it thank you viv oh fantastic a chicago dog oh god okay nine nine all right listen listen when i do hot dogs okay when i when i go out and i get hot dogs from somewhere there are a couple places that i prefer there's one it's a it's a Tampa mainstay. It's called Mel's Hot Dogs. Okay, it's over near Bush Gardens, near the theme park, like a block from it. And this place has been here since like the seventies. All right, it's been there for fucking ever. Okay, um, like the bottom of the notification that was just cut off, like the bottom half of the ribbon with the number of bits. I I've noticed that with the the sound alerts thing. I. I like, and I keep trying to figure out what the hell's going on with it. I think it's like something weird with the the custom sizing that I have set on their side, and then like they end up cutting it off somehow. I haven't like, I gotta figure it out. I, I that, but that's on my list of shit that I gotta figure out. But thank you, I appreciate you, um, because I need to I need to figure that out. Um, but Mel's, that's number one, okay. And this guy will tell you we used to go to Mel's at least twice a week. Okay? We would go and I would order I would always order two things. Thank you, pup. I appreciate you. Um I would always order two things. I would order a slaw dog with ketchup cuz I'm from the south and that's how I like to do things. 
and that's how I always ate them growing up. And I would order a Chicago dog. And boy, howdy, it was, it's just, oh, it's the best. So I'll, I'll go to Mel's for that. Um, and then there's a place that's actually nearby to both me and Lolly called Daddy Dogs that we will occasionally order from. That's also very good. And they have very good fries. Man, those fries, right? Waffle fries are fantastic. They are I fantastic. actually, um, I forget where I was driving, but I drove. I actually drove past them, and holy crap! I did not realize where they were at. Yeah. And I, I'm a little sad that I didn't what? realize that that's where they were. You want me to call Loaf? Oh, I couldn't hear you. Yes, we can go to Mel's. Bean, Bean wants to go to Mel's now. Okay. Okay. Sorry. She's just like I just hear bear. Um. I don't put ketchup on the Chicago dog. I know. Chicago dogs have seven toppings, okay? Seven. And I do not put them. I will I viv, viv. Buddy, we will go for Sunday fucking service. I will take you to fucking church at Mel's. Amen. Hallelujah. But yes, they do they do have real sport peppers on them, nine. They absolutely do. Yes, ma'am. Um and they are delicious. So yes. A Chicago dog, uh, it it has to be a Vienna beef dog. It has to be on a poppy seed bun, okay? It has to have mustard, onions, tomato slices, okay? You could put, like, diced tomato on it, but tomato slices is how it's supposed to be. Um, neon green relish, a pickle spear, um... Sport peppers. What am I? And celery salt. That's it. Those are the seven things that go on a Chicago dog: mustard, diced tom or diced onions, sliced tomatoes, pickle spear, sport peppers, celery salt, and neon green relish. If anything else, it's not a Chicago dog. If it's not Vienna beef, it's not a Chicago dog. If it's not a poppy seed bun, it's not a Chicago dog. They are very adamant about this. I don't make the rules. I just eat the hot dogs. Chicago's very picky about their food, apparently. They are, but they have really fucking good food. That's the cool thing about it, is they have really fucking good food. So it works out. All right, so this... So I'm happy with this now. Listen, Cor, and that's, and that's perfectly fine. I know poppy seeds are not for everybody, especially when they get all like in your teeth and stuff. Mm, yeah, I don't. Rice is about the only thing that I'm risking in that regard right now. Well, you're you're also sort of in a a different state with that because you're dealing with tooth and stuff. Oh, uh, Nathan's yeah, dogs, beef sauce, mustard, and diced onion. Oh, a coney, yeah, a good coney. Fuck yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh my god. Anyway, the point is I love a good hot dog and nine. I'm jealous. Although I did eat one hot dog earlier. I still want another one. I might go get another one. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. Yeah. Nine, go make dinner for you and the kiddos. I love you. Come up there. I'll take you. You take me to Dirty Nick's. Oh no, no, Amy. It's 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 very different. Viv, Viv, you'll have to explain it because I if I try to explain it, I'll fuck it up. You explain it. Sport peppers, Chicago dogs, Amoroso rolls, to Philly cheesesteak. Fair, fair, fair. Oh man, I haven't had a good Philly in a long time either. Just slather that some bitch down with cheese whiz. Bah. Fucking love cheese whiz on a fucking Philly. Oh Jesus Lord. Why do we always talk about fucking food here? What is wrong with us? Everything is wrong with us. But what is wrong with us? Why do we do this? All roads lead to food. And it's it's true. It's true. It's true. All right, Nine, I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. <clears throat> Yep. 
You Google beef sauce and all you get are gravy recipes. Look up, look up coney sauce, Amy. Coney sauce might not gravy. Mm -hmm. Gravy. I do love some gravy though. Oh, some sausage gravy with some biscuits. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that sounds delicious. All right, let's go through and see what's out there for Firebot right now. Uh, what are the open issues? Let me refresh this. Okay, I don't. I want stuff that's not assigned to anybody. I don't want anything for version six. More information displayed in description formatting for the commands website. Eh, I don't know that I can do that one because that's outside of my purview. Karen, you're hungry. Listen, that's my secret captain. I'm always hungry. Manage aliases for custom commands through chat. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Moving alias use case alternatives. Alias plus, alias minus. Hmm. Okay, okay. All right, let's go look at this, because this is a system command, and I haven't worked with system commands yet. So let's go to chat, commands. That's the other thing that I want to do in version 6, is I want to decouple commands from chat as a function. I want the command system to be its own thing. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like triggered from chat first, even though it's like primarily chat triggered. I want it to be like a thing to where it's, it's its own sort of system. Yes, it is kind of like a chili. It is kind of like a chili, but like a lot thinner. It's really good though. Listen, like a, a less tomato -y sloppy joe. Oh, I like that description too. That's really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Karen, Karen, if you if you need to take a nap, you should take a nap. You like thin chili? Yeah. I don't like chili to be too thick. I don't, I don't want it to be too thick. Like, I want to put chili on everything, and I don't want it to be too thick. So it's like, you know, but I'll eat it. Yeah, see, it, it all sounds good. good to you. More ice bear, more good. Alchemist, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. But yeah, I'm I'm I'll I'll eat the chili. I don't give a shit. I'll eat it all. Chili and cinnamon rolls. Not like together, right? Like you know are you put wait, Nova, are you putting chili on the cinnamon rolls? Cause now I'm intrigued. Now I, I like I gotta ask. I have to know. I don't know. Acquiring minds have got to know. Got to know. All right, so let's look at the doop 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 built in. Oh, that's the Steam one. Uh, where are the system command loader? Here we go. Okay, <clears throat> you put fucking chili on. You fucking put chili on cinnamon rolls. It's a thing. It's like ranch on pizza. That is absolutely fucking wild, and now I have to know. Like, I have to try it. Oh, listen, listen, there's this. Okay, so Publix, the grocery store chain down here, they have, like, these Publix premium branded things of, of like, all kinds, including frozen pizzas, and they make this buffalo chicken pizza, and we get it, and we drizzle fucking ranch on that bitch, and it is delicious. It's so good. So good. Like chicken and waffles? Oh! <gasps> Karen, Karen, you know about Publix? Karen knows about Karen knows about Publix. Karen, pub sub, chicky tendy pub sub. Oh my god, I love me a good pub sub. Okay, let's see. These are all the built-in ones. So this is the command list. All right. All right. Let's go here. All right, so we go. Da, da, da. 
Command definition. Well, wait a minute. Where are the command definitions? Like, is this not... All right, let me go here and look at the system commands, because I don't, I don't actually use the command management. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the wrong one. Not command list. Command management. Uh, there we go. No, that's, that's much better. That's much better. Oh, chicken and waffles. You, you love Publix and you were working in Miami for a month? Oh, my God. Publix Deli is just, oh, so good. Their deli and their bakery. Oh, fuck, Karen, that's right. I keep forgetting your brother's down here. Listen, listen, Karen, you let us know when you're coming down. We will have dinner. There's a place that I love. Like, it's my favorite place to get Cubans in all of Tampa. It's so good. Hey, Bean, when Karen comes to visit her brother, can we all go to, uh, to Cuban Breezes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. Bean always gets a Cuban and fries. I will get a media noche and Maduros. For those of you who don't know, a media noche is a middle of the night sandwich. It's it's a Cuban, but they put it on Hawaiian bread instead. So it's sweeter and softer, and it's delicious. And then I get the Maduros, which are the little like fried plantains. Oh, so good. Oh. Oh, yes, Nova. I can't wait to go look. <laughs> Listen, Nova. Nova, if you come to Tampa, you will come get have Cubans with me and Bean. There you go. Nomster Jam road trip. Come up to Boston. Get Coney's. Get coffee milks. Get some proper chowder. Oh, yeah. Fried plantains and yucca. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Black Udon. Welcome in. Welcome in. I, see? See? It's the food. It's the food. I know, Nova. I know. No, 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 no. Well, it's, it's, as, long as, it's, as long as it's respectful, but there are, there, are, there are valid reasons to be, to worry about your safety, so I can understand that. But Tampa, like Tampa proper is pretty decent area. It's okay. It's okay. Besides, you'll be with us, and no one will fuck with you when you're with me. Otherwise, you know, they will have to deal with me. I will eat them. I will eat them. He has threatened that at, at work before. I have threatened to eat people before. Way. I have. It's true. Because I am always hungry, and I will eat someone to prove a point. Fuck with Nova, you get the bear. That's true. That's true. All right, so let's go look here and see... Oh, the Black Udon, welcome on in. Glad to have you join us tonight. I am just looking at the command manager in uh, in Firebot. Let me go look at my subcommands. Let's go see. Triggered arg. Right, 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 because we do this through... It's the food that reels them in. Yeah, it's true. If you fuck with Nova, you better believe that sounds like troubles. The <laughs> Bruin. Oh my god. Be a yogi ready to pounce on a picnic basket. That's right. Hey, boo boo. How about a picnic basket? All right. So then, do I'm assuming we come down here. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's where I need to open up the actual command manager. Let's see, where's the command manager here? Okay. This is where we... Okay. I don't know if we have a method in here to actually add and remove aliases. If you were a bear, you would be boo-boo. There you go. Hey. Let's see. Besides, you can have a snazzy bow tie and, like, you know, 
bow ties are cool. Right, this is Let's go into the UI. I want to see what happens in the UI when we actually save a command. So let's go in the app, in the controllers, commands controller. Let's see what all we have. Open add or edit custom command modal. Okay. So there's when we open the Delete, save. So we go to save custom command in the command service. Let's see, where's the services? Command service. I want save custom command. All right. <clears throat> this, this local pub just posted a picture on Facebook of their fish Mozambique tacos. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I haven't had a good fish taco in a while either. That sounds good. Mm. All right, so this is where we go through and we actually. Note from Biggs Angular sometimes adds properties to objects for the purposes of two way bindings and other magical things. It has a 2 JSON convenience method that converts the object. To JSON string while removing internal Angular properties, we then convert the string back to an object with JSON.parse. It's kind of hacky, but it's an easy way to ensure we aren't accidentally saving anything extra. Well done, Biggs. Well done. Okay, we can we can work with that. Um. Let's see. So really what I want to do is uh, I'm going to have to move some of this logic, I think. I'm going to have to move some of this logic into the command manager because what I want to do is I want to take that, I want to get a custom command, read it, save it back. And I want to have the context of the user because I want to know who actually changed it. Now let's go here and see how we do this here. Um, in command management. And so I want, there's the command. Oh. Wait a second. Oh. Oh. Oh, we send it to the front end to to come back and... Oh, no, I don't like this at all. Oh, this seems... This seems angy. Like, why wouldn't we put this code in here and then have this call this right like i don't know it just seems backwards to me but i don't want to go through and break everything either so i think what i'm going to end up doing is all right all right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's add a new case down here. 
So what I want to do is I want case <clears throat> add alias. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I don't care about that. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so first we check to see if the command exists, okay? All right, and then what we do is we say, where's the format of the command? Oh, I want the, oh wait, I'm in it. I'm in the file. So then I have subcommands here and there's, uh, where are my aliases? Where are aliases in the file structure or the, the JSON structure? Chat, commands. Oh my God, that's hilarious. This, the command that I, that I have open right here is the, the 14 command with alias carbuncle. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay, so let's take this over here just for reference. So command alias is part of the actual definition itself. All right. Then let's come back down where I am and I go if command dot aliases dot Oh man, I can never remember JavaScript array functions. Let's go to MDN. Okay. Well, hello there, Warbear. How are you, sir? On this fine Thursday for you. Happy Thursday to you. Hoping you it's a good one so far. Okay. Let's see. Index. Ah, I can't type. Um, oh, I guess I could use in, can I use index of? Is index of a thing? Yeah, index of is a thing. Is index of a string? Index of. Ooh, got him, Damn. get wrecked. I'll index of your face. Oh, get wrecked. Okay. Um, how do we do args here? How do we do arguments? Oh, we we raw dog it. Okay, fucking yeah, man. Whatever. Okay. Remaining data. Dot trim. Dot split. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, wait a minute. How does it? I don't care about that. Oh, I guess I just want remaining data dot trim. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just want remaining data dot trim. Okay. Uh, well, tonight, Ace, we are working on Firebot. So someone has asked, uh, put in a feature request where they would like to be able to add or remove aliases for a command. So for example, this exclamation point YT also has an exclamation point YouTube, so you can trigger it either way. Um, and they would like to add um, a system command option to be able to um, add or remove aliases for a command remotely, like you can um, inside the application. So that's, uh, that's, that's what we're working on today. Going well, looking for more things to turn into toys at the moment. Nice. Got some code. If thing, then action. Does that work? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, Viv, that's, that's like 95% of coding. If thing, then action. All things are toys for pups. It's true. It's true. 
Fox. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so let's see. Uh, I want new a... Well... No, you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the split in here. And let's do this. Um, no, I want to do this one at a time. I'm. Ugh. I'm gonna say new alias. Yep. We're gonna say is greater than negative one. Then we'll say chat send message. Alias, to do new alias already exists for command with the trigger, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Okay. And we can return. Since we're done there, now we can come down here and go, um, aliases, a push. Alias, and then we can go command manager dot save custom command command user. Oh God damn it! I think that should work. Uh, what? Where do we have our user? Because I want to know who's doing this. I'm an idiot. I'm listening. I'm a genius. I'm a, I made a directive, right? So material auto completes. Yeah. Do not work when you hit tab. Oh. So if you tab to an auto complete field, it'll pop up the drop down with all the items in it. Uh huh. You can use the keystrokes to or up and down to get to whatever you want. Right, and then hit tab again, and by default it won't fucking put it in the box. It'll oh. just move on and leave an empty box there. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't. Yeah, that, you don't want to do that, bud. So there, there are several options for directives to make this work, and I'm sitting here going, "Why the hell does my directive not work?" I even just straight ripped the stack bl blitz of something else that had an example of it that I like copy pasta of the directive from and i'm like i fully understand what's going on i didn't uh the i, I didn't put the tag i put the tag on the input not the autocomplete because <laughs> i'm an idiot oh. <laughs> <gasps> hi miss ayla how are you oh god what did i do oh let's see Ayla's is is doing naughty things to pup in, in chat as as always as always doing the ooze and the woos. Vivian, you have a good night. I love you very much. I hope you get all the good sleepy sleeps, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Mwah. Love you so much, buddy. Ayla's wait. Ayla's Hulk angry. Oh God. Oh God. Ayla, did somebody mess with one of the kiddos? Ayla only gets Hulk angry when someone messes with some one of the kiddos. Don't say Hulk. You're gonna you're gonna summon a Krako. Green oh. and muscly. That's. I mean, I'm not doing you know, I'm not doing great at not summoning Krako right now as it is, considering I'm wearing my seventy five frogs in a trench coat T-shirt. Ice bear is ready to Tokyo drift. In the dark. Oh my God! You in the dark. Ray, thanks for the, the, the dollar. Let's see. I tried to organize a professional hide-and-seek tournament, but it was a complete failure. Good players are hard to find. Wait, yep. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. That's wait, fantastic. Wait. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Both I like the that button. Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to do this, and we're going to do it in reverse. Now we're going to say, remove alias.
And we're going to say if Okay. All right. Now Delete count of one. <clears throat> I wonder I wonder if the UI will let me do something. I'm gonna try something I'm gonna do something really stupid. Let me see if I can add an alias. Let's see if this works. Are you about to do something reckless and stupid? I did, and you know what? It does let me do it, and that's okay. I'm I'm actually okay with that. Because that means that... Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, it lets me do that, which it... We should probably check for that at some point. But I had no... I can see... I can see the... I can see the case. I can see the case for it. Okay. No, nope, that's fine. Uh, all right, let's so let's get back here. So now we have remove alias. Um, okay. Oh, I want to. Hey, I wonder if I can. Can I add something? Oh, I can add, yeah, you know what? Done. Done, that makes this so much easier. Okay, this is perfect. <sighs> is it too lower for me? It doesn't. Okay, that's going to be something that I need to check. Someone hurt your lovey and you're pissed. Oh, oh, um, um, let me know where to send flowers for their funeral, Ayla, because, um, no. No, ma'am, absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. Let's say, is there an array dot? No, okay, that's fair. Um, oh, I guess I could do find index to do that. So const uh, alias index equals command dot aliases dot find index. And I can go, this will be an A, no. Uh, A to lowercase equals, uh, No, oh, I'll I'll do it. I'll leave it the way it is. Do lower case. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want, right? Find index. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I guess I could just. Guess I don't need that. Okay. Now I can use this. Boy, the word alias is looking really weird to me right now. 
I hate it when that happens. Yeah, like when you look at a word, like you ever, do y'all ever do that when you like look at a word long enough and then it starts to look really wrong because you keep staring at it and that's like, that word's not fucking right. Like you know it is, but it ain't fucking right. Oh, messes with my head. Okay. All right, so what this will do is we'll get the new alias. We'll find the command with the trigger. If the command, if we can't find the command, yeah, see, I just, oh, it's, it messes with my head, man. All right, so if the command, if we don't find a command, we say, couldn't find it, and we come back. Um, if we, we look for the alias that's already there, if there's already one for the add alias, we say, hey, this alias already exists for the command with the trigger this. I will put that in quotes, single quotes, okay? Um, and I return. If not, then we'll come down here, we'll add the new alias, we will save the custom command, and then I will say, hey, we added it to the custom command and done, okay? Someone's dyslexic and sucks at spelling every word, uh, spelling every word doesn't look right. I don't envy you, bud. I don't envy you. I fucking more power to you for powering through it. I'm, I have a hard enough time and I don't have anything like that. That's, that's trying to fuck with my head constantly. So well done to you for powering through that shit. Alias to remove, same thing. All right. So we get the command. Command manager, get all custom commands, find the one. If it doesn't exist, same thing. We find the index again. If we don't have one, we say alias does not exist for command with the trigger, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then otherwise, we take it out because we want to. Splice at an index, right? We splice at an index. Yeah, we splice at an index. And then we save it. Removed alias blank from custom command. All right. What would really freak you out is starting at the word, staring at the word, and then Jennifer Garner magically appears. Oh my God, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. But I understood that reference. Okay, I think that's it. Is that all that we added here? Is that? Okay, now let's go up and make sure we add the subcommands here. Okay. So I want to add a this. Um, I think that's that should work, right? Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. This is... Man, add alias to command, and then they... So it's going to have to be at least two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Nope. Now I'm going to have to add additional checking in here, which is fine. So I'm going to say... Savings. Money huh? market? Yes. Savings. Money market. Three products. Ah, uh, three products. Okay, see, I'm glad I caught this. I'm glad I thought about this before I started running shit, because yes. Okay. Ah. All right. Oh wait, what is what? Number or is not a number one? Oh, I see. I see. Oh wait, cooldown cooldown takes. Oh. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. So I don't want...
And I also want it if it's like greater than one. Why don't I just say not equal to one? Yeah, maybe maybe I should just do that. That would just make sense. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. See, Fritz, iceberg I'm right good. there with you, buddy. More I'm iceberg. right there with you. More good. Owen Codes, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Glad to have you tonight. Or whatever time zone you happen to be in. It happens to be night for me, as you can see up there. Okay, so... I like this. Okay. That's good. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. Now we come down here. We do the same thing. Oh, oh, wait. Nope. There we are. Now we come down here and we do the same thing. And I will go put this in. And do this. And this. And this. Night free, it's like 2 a.m. Oh, Owen, oh, oh, buddy. So, uh, let's see, if it's 2 a.m. for you, you, uh, you across the pond over there? I'm assuming somewhere either, either like Europe, Africa, somewhere like that where you're, where it's 2 a.m. currently. Happy tomorrow. Happy tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Happy early Thursday for you. All right, let's see what we got here. You're in Ireland? Nice. Nice. We got a couple of folks from Ireland that like to hang out with us. Good group of folks. And then of course, you know, our we have our resident Scotch too, Louie. All right. Uh okay, I think this is good now. Now I need to go up and edit the add alias. Okay. 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 I'm gonna say adds the specified east coast beast coast it's true it's true in the future i love it removes the specified alias from the given custom command all right oh i hate when i do that all right so then that should work all right, so here, there's our descriptions there. We've added our subcommands here with their descriptions. We do min args? Oh, wow. Um, okay. I'm, I think I'm, uh, I think this is good. So then we've got that. I want to see what is, let's do set count, because I want to see where we have set count, one, two, and three. That's it. Those are the only places, those are the minimum number of places where we need to have this. Oh, I still don't want to do the split, though. No, you know what? No. So I really don't need an args because I just this args because aliases can have spaces. I really don't need that. If args length is less than three because it has to be the sub the subcommand, the command trigger, and the new alias. That's fair. So I'll move this down here. Okay. This I don't care about anymore because it's irrelevant. OK. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to uh, listen. I'm going to I'm going to stop fussing with this. But if I keep doing this, I should get this right. I should get it right. And right, now let's take this. Do the same thing down here. And do the same thing down here. And voila. Down here. Down here. I don't care about you. Okay. I don't care about... All right. So then... So we've added in our add alias and remove alias. We've added in our subcommand definitions. That's all we've added. I'm going to do this as a trim. So I don't have to do it twice. I'm going to move this up. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We do the trim first. Make sure it's not because People love to put fucking spaces out there just for funsies. We find the command. We do all our stuff. Okay, that's it. Done. All right, so then I think this is good. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close the bot. I'm going to reopen it. While that's launching, I'm going to go into... No, not the command center. I want the... I'm going to go in and assign this to me since I am working on it. And I'll say this is in progress. Okay. All right. Add alias. Remove alias. Add alias. Remove alias. All right. Now we come in here. And I have this. Oh, that's not that one. Oh, I guess I can expand it out and it'll show me the definition. That add alias adds the specified alias to the given custom command. Remove alias. Alias to remove. And remove the specified alias from the given custom command. Okay, okay. Let's go make sure. I'm gonna turn this off just to be safe. And let's turn this bad boy on and see what happens. Okay, so now, if I come into the dashboard here and come into chat, then I can go command. Let's actually, let's look at our test command real quick, because I love to use this test command. It has no aliases on it right now. So let's go command test. And let's go remove alias. Test two. Okay, now where did I break it? I clearly I broke it. Oh, I because I did it wrong. Good job. Perfect. Okay, alias test two does not exist for command with the trigger test. Command add alias. Test two. Okay, let's go verify this. There's the new alias. If I try to do it again, just copy past of this. Alias test two already exists. If I do it with, and I go test two. Perfect. And if I go remove alias, and I'm gonna do it here. Let me make sure it's still on there. 
Yep, it's still there. Let me come back and do this and change it to test to. Done. There it is. And now it's it's gone. There we have it. So we have added the ability to add and remove aliases from commands. I want to call this old alias. New alias, old alias. Or maybe I could just say alias. For consistency. Yeah, I like consistency. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it works. It looks good. This looks good. Ooh, got him, get wrecked. Oh, God. You, I shake my fist at you. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let me go over the changes one more time. One more time. Okay. So that's there. That's all good. Come down here. We added this code. It's all good. Okay. I like it. Feature. Um... Command add alias and remove alias subcommands. Subcommands. Yeah. Mountains are beautiful, clouds are dancing, water's playing, trees are happy. Oh man. Happy. Happy little, happy little arrays. Happy little arrays. Is there a site or location where there are Firebot commands that can be downloaded? Um, so there are, on the Firebot, the dev wiki here. If you go over here on the right, there are scripts and setups. And the setups will add things to your, um, to your Firebot stuff for example um i have a setup and i will show you go to my settings go to setups and i can go import a setup and so i have a firebot setup for ice bear good more ice bear more good neutral one thank you for that follow welcome on in glad to have you with us binary happy trees oh binary trees uh so here we have, this is a setup that I made for common lurk and unlurk commands. And what you can do is you can have a lurk command and an unlurk command. Um, now it's got little thingies here because I already have this. So I have these commands already. If I were to import this setup, it would replace them, um, my existing commands with the versions that are here but it can prompt you for what you want it to be. You can set all this up when you're building your Firebot setup, and then you can go in and do a little bit of extra stuff to it. The pop-out work. Oh my God, the pop-out works. I love it. The pop-out wasn't working until fairly recently, or it stopped working until fairly recently. Um, cloud computing. Oh, happy little data centers. <gasps> Sultry, hi, and also thank you for the lurk. Mm, good to see you. Um, but yeah, so you can you can add import questions to put things in and like replace text with tokens and stuff like that, so that when you when someone else imports the setup, it adds those commands in for you. Um, but yeah, those those are listed here. Uh, we're hoping to get more. I I want to add a bunch of stuff to this and just do like a bunch of common um, commands. So things like the lurk stuff, shout outs, um, the raid thing. Uh, like just I want to I want to build out a bunch of different firebot setups and then put them in here uh, there's also a wiki wiki that wiki wiki, um, wiki, wiki. that I want us to start working more on because like the, the the dev team has this set up and they just haven't had a chance to go in and, and work on this stuff but I want like full-on documentation on stuff in here um, cause like there's, there's a link to the release notes. It'll take you out to the latest release notes in, uh, GitHub for the, like the release that just came out last week. Um, 
but there's like nothing else in here really. Like there are some a few user guides, but like you can see, one of them's a YouTube tutorial by Hey Apple, one of the dev team. Um, to one of the the Firebot experts in the Discord has a great written guide, and then there's also these like works in progress here on the wiki, and you can see these pages aren't published. Like they're, you know, again the same kind of stuff that's over in the um, the wiki on GitHub. But I'd like to use this because we can make this a little more fully featured and folks could log in with their Twitch accounts and be able to add documentation as they come across things and shit like that. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to start working on before too terribly long is some of that documentation stuff. Um, okay, so let's go in here. Let's go. I'm I'm happy with this. This looks good to me. Let me make sure I have a branch made for this. So create branch, um, alias management, and commit it, publish it up to mine. And then we're going to come over here, look at this. There's the new one. Let's make sure I pull this into the V5 branch since that's the current dev branch. There we are. Okay, this feature request was 1751. So I'll tag it here. Verified that add alias. Let's actually do this out. Verify that add alias adds the specified alias to a custom command. Verified that remove alias removes the specified alias from a custom command. Verified that an alias does not add an existing or add an alias it already exists on a custom command and verified that remove alias oh, bud you just went into a tunnel Dumbo arigato what do you mean your audio is getting robot -y. I don't know if it's in just in Discord. How's that? Is that better? Sounds better to me. All right, good, cool. It's voice mod. Just had to restart voice mod again. I'm I might do a thing to auto reboot voice mod every night or something. All right. Um. Let's go and take a screenshot of the how it looks here. Uh, let's scroll down just a smidge. I like that. Okay. 
Then I'll open the snipping tool and I'll draw. Can I do, can I not do a little, can I not do a little box? Well, that's the, that's the delay in the snippy. I want to do. Let's do the red. Oh God, that's, that's a very, that's. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, don't need the ruler. Okay. I'm happy with this. Now let's go over here. All right. Oh, I don't know that I like. God damn it. You know what? No. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna We're gonna fix this. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing's happening. I wouldn't worry about it. I want it to be accurate, so now I'm just gonna remove this, or just clip this. Yeah, let's go back here. I'm. Okay. That's the command add alias and add command remove alias subcommands for alias management. Verify that adds, verify that removes, verify does not add, it already exists, does not attempt to remove an alias that does not currently exist on a custom command. Okay, perfect. Screenshots, there we go. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, now let's create the pull request. And so now I have mentioned that in this issue, there we go. And I'm gonna mark this as in code review. <gasps> Bedtime, Nova, I love you. Thanks for coming to hang out earlier. It was so good to have you and hear, to hear your voice. Go have the night nights and give Q lots of love and tell her I love her. Okay, added the ready review, removed in development, and there we go. We just added new aliases to the subcommand. Cat cat. Meow meow. You just got something done? I got something, I did a thing, and now... Wow. Oh, it's the, it's the good one. A good one <laughs> that's that's very good that's very good i just got something done too yeah what'd you get done uh i unfucked the tab directives and they're working it's working the way that i want it to yeah you did mm -hmm. now i'm just showing off do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I want to see something. There's. Let's open a new window. And I want to go look at the. Oh, God, I haven't opened this in a while. Let's open the. I'm gonna open the fleet website. Uh, 
Let's close all that because I want to look at. I don't care. Viewport. Aha. I want. I want to set the viewport on this bad boy. That's what I want. Let's go in here. Yeah, that's what I want. So let me let me let me just go over this real quick because this is actually I'll I'll do it from here since I'm in here. So there are meta tags that you can add to uh, an HTML page that basically just tells the browser info about the page. Okay, some of it is purely informational. Some of it does stuff. It tells and instructs the browser to do stuff. In this case, the viewport meta tag tells the the browser, specifically on mobile browsers, how to display it, like how to, how it's like supposed to be. So it's as you can see, like here, narrow screen devices, like mobile devices, render pages in a virtual window or a viewport, which is usually wider than the screen. Then they shrink the rendered result down so it can all be seen at once, which is why sometimes when you go to a website on mobile, the website looks really like tiny and you have to zoom in and, and like pan around for it, okay? Because it, it does it in this virtual, virtual viewport and not inside the actual box, just inside the confines of the box. Ice bear there. good. More ice bear. More good. Palo Swag, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. So because mobiles do this, a lot of times when you're designing a site, you want it to look different based on the size of the screen that you're on. And so in this case, this tells the browser specifically here that you want the width of the viewport to be the width of the actual device, not like the extended one. No, you want it just to be the width of the device. So then what will happen is, what should happen, let me... Let's rebuild this. Uh, let's go rebuild this. This probably won't do it live because I'm going to have to close it and reopen it. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. And let's go restart the bot. And that's all good. So everything's back up. I refresh. Okay, so this looks normal here. I want to go over here to the phone and see how it looks. Ah, okay. So now you can see on the phone, instead of it looking like scrunched in, it now like by default renders with like the full width there. Um, and I'll kind of... So you can see there it is, the full width of the screen, instead of like being scrunched in like it was before. So this will this will be good. So I can actually like see the whole thing and not have to zoom in on it. It's hopefully for the uh, the accessibilities and whatnot. <gasps> is that a best friend Mo? That's best friend Mo. That's best friend Mo. Hold on, I have. Hold on, I can. I'm gonna turn this on just for a second because I think I'm I think I'm done with that part right now anyway. So there's a turn, by the way. There it is. There it is. There's best friend Mo. Best friend Mo, how are you tonight? Best friend Mo, she would she would normally be streaming right now, but her not feel so good. Hers had an icky tummy all day. So all the love to the best friend Mo because we love her very much. Why is it why why did it so there's a turn, by the way? Why did it do it a second time? So many saltines and ginger ale. Oh yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yep. 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 Listen, but you know what? You've taken care of yourself, and that's what's important. I'm glad that you didn't push yourself. I'm glad that you are taking the evening 
and just doing your thing because you need to. I've been making the bot do things. Here, I'll show you, best friend Mo. Look. Command management will let you add and remove aliases to a command now. I changed this to only where the streamer can do it because if I left it to where moderators could do it, it would be about 0.3 seconds before someone aliases beef jerky to jerk in my meat, and I'm not going to have it. We're just going to disable this all together now. We do have that beef jerky command. Are you saying you don't trust us? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> My mods would never know. No, they would never. I don't. Speaking of best friend, listen, if you like beef jerky and you live in the States, get it from beefjerky.com. I do, and it's delicious. Then they don't just have beef. They have chicken, they have pork, they have turkey jerky. It's delicious. My personal favorite is the Time Warp Teriyaki. It's honey teriyaki. And as you can see, there's not much left in this bag because it's delicious iceberg, and I eat More it. Iceberg. More good. Hey, there it goes again. Guess it's a good thing you don't have that power, but you definitely would never. No, yeah, you, you would never. You would never. No, never. No, never. Never. Uh, uh, old Daniel, thank no, you for no, that we follow. Were, we, were, we were talking about earlier um, that Bubba would show up to group therapy night and talk about how he can't have all the food that he wants ever. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Bubba would do that. Bubba would do that. That's, yeah. I might now, now that I've changed the style and the, the default font, I might take the uh, the uppercase off of that as well. So let's go. I don't want to transform to uppercase anymore there. Yeah. Uh, I guess I am going to have to restart the bot, so I'll just turn events back off for that. Deactivate. Okay. Close that. Yep. Let's rebuild this. And it's done. Okay. Now we'll restart the bot and let it do its thing. I think Bub is in bed crying himself to sleep at the lack of jerky today. Poor Bubs. Poor Bubs. Oh, that poor Bubs. Like, he just, he does his best. But he's wasting away. So scrawny. <laughs> he can go a few minutes. He can go a few minutes. <laughs> eh, eh. He's a good boy. <laughs> eh. He'll be fine. Here we go. Okay, so I took the caps off of here. Honestly, like I'm, I'm really, like I'm really digging this, and like I kind of like the the very stark blue buttons. I don't know, but yeah. So I can do my stuff. Where's my, where's my, my bleep? Does my bleep actually work? <laughs> ah, it does work. Would you look at that? Ah, that's good. That's good. I think that does a hot key is how that works. I think. Let me make sure. Bleep. Does this a hot key? It is. Yeah. It does my control alt B, which is my bleep on my, uh, my, uh, uh, voice mod. So, you know, when I really feel like it, I can go tell you to go fuck yourself and it'll do it. But I you wouldn't say that. Go f yourself. Oh, okay. Understandable. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't f do that. That's f rude. Allegedly. Okay, but yeah. So that's good. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm super happy with this. This is great. This is neat. Oh, I could change my lower third. That's another thing that I added in here too, is to change the lower third. Cause like, so if you look over here to, to my right, your left, you'll see my lower third says group therapy night. Okay. Again, I, I've talked about this before, but the lower third is just a, it's a, it's a broadcast standard term for the part at the bottom of the screen that traditionally took up roughly a third of the screen. Um, so I had a thing where I could say like, if I want to do X cloud and whatever game I'm playing streaming from X cloud, it'll format it for me. 
but this will now go like group therapy night slash code and that should run there we go it's all good uh so yeah so i can change that if i need to yeah any hoozle that's uh that's that's what i've been up to let's go see listen mo i i was just saying earlier that i want to um set up a bunch of like standard setups um i might actually make just one big one and be like here's here's like a bunch of here's like the base level stuff go um and it has things like shout outs and lurks and and um like i don't know just a bunch of shit and, and see how it goes um but yeah i'm i'm really digging this like i'm i'm really enjoying this this is this has been great all right so let's see what we have here now nice Add confirmation. Oh yeah, that's that I will not be able to do in twenty minutes, I'll tell you that. I don't think. Oh, uh, I'm sure I'm sure the CEO can come up with a presentation. Well, you gotta you gotta talk to the CEO about that and Oh right, 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 right. That's because you're the CFO. You stop Chief that. forking officer. Add ARG and or target support to the Twitch reward section. Current worker also use the run command effect. Do channel rewards not support args? <laughs> Arg. Do reward message. Nas, we know who's in charge around here, and she's the best little loaf. She is the best little loaf. Listen, I love that kitty baby. I have this picture, and I can't really show it on stream because it's. I don't have. It, I was sitting in my chair downstairs, and last night I guess, and. She gets up on me, and so it's like the arm of the the arm of the like the recliner is here, and so she gets up on it, and she's coming up. She wants all the pets. She loves getting her pets, and so then she comes up, and she leans both of her paws up on my chest and starts licking my chest, and then slowly she brings one of her back paws onto my my tummy, and then she slowly brings the other one over, and then she just sits and crouches down and is licking, licking, licking my chest. And then eventually she gets tired from all of the kisses and she cinnamon rolls around and just boop right here on me. Like, like literally this cat is just like cinnamon roll, like right here on me and it's adorable and it's in the discord. So if you would like to see it, jump in the discord. She's the best loaf. The very, very best loaf. Oh, I love the loaf so very much. Ah, just precious kitty baby. She's so sweet. So many kisses. So many kisses. It was funny when um, uh, Bean got home from work today, picked me up, we went to the store, and when we got home, we came in, um, you know, she parks the car in the garage. We come in and like there's when you come in, there's like we have our little laundry room there and it comes out into the kitchen and there's a bar at the opposite end with a couple of like bar stools. And so we open the door uh, from the garage and what do we see? And there's boop, there's loaf sitting in one of the bar stools just looking at us like, hey, welcome home. Good to see you. She was waiting for us to come home. She's the best loaf. It's my little loaf Reno. She's probably snugging the bean right now. Giving her snuggles. She loves to snuggle. She's such a snuggle cat. Love that kitty so much. Here's a here's a loaf of Reno. Oh, I love that loaf of Reno. I had a little talk with her yesterday. We were snuggled up. She was laying on the guest bed like she normally does, and 
I went in there and I laid down with her for a minute and I snuggled up to her and I was talking to her about how she's the very best kitty and she gives the best purrs and the best kitty kisses the best snuggles and she's very she's very adamant and aggressive with her kisses and snuggles she's like i will kiss you and i will snuggle you she's she gets that from she gets that from bean but she's a very sweet baby <gasps> going to betty bye danielle i love your face so very much i hope you have a wonderful restful night and that you have a, an amazing day tomorrow i love you so much thank you for being here all right, so we've done that. I don't think there's a whole lot else for me to do. I think the only other thing that I want to do is... For this, I don't care about the query. That was just there for funsies. Um, I really just care about getting the status that it's running and being able to run this guy. The preset effect lists... Do we have, do we have a, let me go to the custom script helpers, common handlers, custom script helpers. We have the effects manager. I don't know if the effects manager will give us custom preset lists, though. <gasps> but I know what I can do. <clears throat> Has anyone here seen Is It Cake? Is Fritz, is that the show where, like, they put up, like, three different th th objects and, like, you have to, like, the, the person has to pick out which one is is cake, which one is, like, the not real thing? It's on. I think that's on Netflix, isn't it? I've heard of this. All right, let me go down here to the. Uh, oh, that's, that's in the GUI uh, server API. Yeah, I thought I thought that's that sounded familiar. I thought that sounded familiar. That seems like a really cool show. Uh, oh, we don't send the preset effect list manager because the man the effects manager doesn't give us our preset lists it does not okay it is on netflix okay okay i know something sometimes let's go to our custom script helpers let's go back to the v actually let's create a new branch from under um script yeah preset effects uh i'm going to call this integration preset effects off of the v5 branch okay command management should there we go and i don't need any of that anymore Okay, so here's our custom script helpers. We don't send preset effect list manager down at all now, so I think I'm going to add this down here. I'm going to add this. Okay. Derp, derp, derp. Okay. That's the preset effect list manager. Nice. Okay. Then I can do this. Okay. Let's go here. And Are, am I not using this here? Is this not the right one? Did I? Did, am I not getting the right one? Ah, 
Oh, 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 oh. Where do you live, friend? Oh, wait, what? Uh, what? Mm. Oh, I, I see. I see what's happening. Okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, uh, mm, all right. You know what? I'm just not gonna do this for version one. We'll just take this out of here. And I will leave the okay, let's just let's just pull that out of the code completely. No need to have it if it's not gonna do anything. Just no no point to it. Okay. Well, I'm super happy with this. Let me go here. And then adds command center web page for remote command. Remote command execution. Okay. Uh, I might put a little warning in the description here. Warning. Okay, I think that's probably, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's see, how do I install a dev dependency? Let's see, npm install dev dependencies. Stack overflow. Perfect. Ooh. Also, hi, Kit. How are you? <laughs> hi, love you. Bye. Kit, I love you. I miss you. Thank you for the lurky lurk. Okay, so let's do let's do this. Let's go to here and I wanna do Times Express and I wanna do four seventeen one. Let's see if this will do its thing. Will this move it up? No. What if I npm uninstall Types Express? Okay, let's try this again and see what happens. Nope, doesn't like that. Okay. Let's see what the docs say. Everything, okay. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, that's it's saved. Aha. Okay, okay. So we'll let's uninstall this. All right, and now we'll go back and we'll say save dev. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I love it. Okay, so we have our dev dependencies. Everything's there. My types from Express are still here and working because I don't want any, I don't want this to install anything when it builds. I don't want any of that. Because all of this stuff comes from the comes from the bot. The bot's going to give me all of this. So. All right, let's look at all my stuff. There's the page, which is fine. There's my main. Let's go over my main one more time just to make sure. Um, I'm going to go change. Okay. Okay, there are my parameters for my page title, my host name. Here's my run where I get my modules. I'm saving them up here for later. There's my stop, which is going to get implemented soon. TM. Where I want to do all the unloading and everything like that. And here's where I actually set all this up. Change the license to the MIT license, which is what I want. There's my package lock with all of its... Just everything... Here's this. I don't have any dependencies dependencies because I don't need them. Script output name. Blah, blah. Okay, I'm I'm good with this. The only thing that I don't want to do yet. Ooh, there it goes. Um the only thing that I don't want to do yet is I don't want to commit this with the custom script types pointed at mine. I want it to point at the the custom script types here, but my stuff is not in yet. And I need this stuff to I need this stuff to be in. Firebot settings. This is where I add all the Firebot settings stuff here. Do I have unknowns in here? I do have. I have like an a couple of any's. That returns a JSON DB. Okay, get data from file. Okay, the event settings. I haven't had a chance to go through and like figure that type out yet. All right, this should be good. I had, I fixed another thing in there too, because there was something with, in the command manager, it was sending back the wrong, or it was defining the wrong type coming over from the bot. So this should be fine now. There are all the methods that I want to be able to support, which is fine. Okay. So that's all good. My script, I think, is good. Like, I'm really happy with this.
Um, yeah. I don't know. What do y'all think? Do you, do you uh, think there's anything else I could throw in here for version one? Otherwise, I think this is, you know, again, pending this one pull request getting uh, merged in. I think this is good. I don't need this anymore. Ship it. Ship it? Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz. Actually, I think I might do one last thing. I think I might change my headers from H1s and H2s to H2s and H3s, which I know isn't like traditional. No, 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 because that might fuck up accessibility. So I think what I'll do here is I will do H1 font size. Well, let's see what it is right now. Right now we are at... They're computed. Never use semantic tags for styling. Style the semantic tags so you're liking. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I... I could technically go in and like change my H1s and H2s to H2s and H3s, but also that's still that's still not that's not good accessibility practice. Like that's still that's indicating that like that's a secondary and those are tertiary headers, which it, they're not, and I don't want that to to be indicative of this thing. So my font size is thirty seven point so two EMs one and a half. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to like one and a half and like one and a quarter and see how that looks. So let's try that. Let's try font, font size, half em and font size, one and a quarter em. Uh, no. 1.25 EM. No one asked for your font weights. And let me turn the the device stuff off. Now these look big. I think it might be I think what I'll end up doing is let's do this. We're gonna we're just gonna take everything down a little bit. But I still want to do this as 1.5 em. I don't have any H3s, so I don't care. H2 font size 1.25 em. Actually, let's take this down to 12. Point. Uh, well, this is 12 point. Font weight obese, font styling 90s dad cargo shorts. Hey, I resemble that style. And I love it. Hi, Loaf. Hey. Oh, Karina, what are you doing, baby? What, what are you doing? No. Meow. Come here. You want to come say hi? You want to come back? Oh, that's my loaf. No, she's like, no, I came to say hi and goodbye. <sighs> oh, Aunt Mo loves you. She flicked her tail. Let's try something else. Let's go. We'll do one last thing before we call it quits. Let's change. Why are you angry? Oh, I don't have a title attribute. Okay, no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, change our body to 12. Font size. 
I'm going to say 1.5 EM. I'm going to try to do it in relatives. Maybe I'll do it at 1.25. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that. All right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'll come in here. 12. Uh, actually, I want this at 1 EM. 1.5 EM. These can go away because they're not going to be that way anymore. I'm going to rebuild one more time. And we'll start it up one last time and then we'll, we're done. Ball of quits. Mm. Oh, right. I fucked that up. There we go. I'll, I'll add preset effect list later. It's not a big deal. Alright, main page is main page is doing its thing. Did I not change that? Oh, I meant to change that to one point two five. I like that. Yep, okay. Alright. That's it, we're done. Yep. I like it. Mo, what do you think? It's not bad looking. Listen, it's it's utility and it gets the job done. And that's what's important. Ah. Simple and clean. That's it. That's all it needs to be. Oh, hey, thank y'all for hanging out tonight. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, it's It's been a week and I'm very tired and I'm going to go to bed and crash hard, I hope. God, I hope. Um, oh, let's see. No, I love you, buddy. I love you. I love all of you. Thank you very much for being here. Um, hey, if you're not following the channel already, I would love if you did. Come hang out with us more often. I'm also running our May follower goal over here. We're almost there. We're almost there. Need about a dozen more folks to follow the channel. Uh, if you do, if we meet that goal for this month, just like I do every month, the first stream of the, the following month, I will give away a three-month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription. I got one waiting. Got one ready to go. Got a code. Checked it. Verified today that it's still all good to go. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Friday we're playing golf with your friends so that should be a fun time and then um, Sunday is retro night I think I know what I'm playing but I want to make sure I got it all set up and ready to go first before I say it I, I know I I kind of um, I fucked up on putting a schedule out this week and I'm sorry um, but we'll uh We'll, we'll do it. I'll do better next week. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. I gotta get out of here. Um, let's go see who's doing stuff and things. Let's see. Oh, no. We're, we're, we're gonna go see... We're gonna go see Angie. Angie Pange is doing her... She's playing Nobody Saves the World. Which I played not too long ago. And as you know, I had a very, very fun time doing it. So let's go raid Angie Pange. Go we'll give her all the love. She is a sweet angel baby, and you know we love her very, very much. Um, and once again, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, I will see you on Friday for Golf With Your Friends with our good buddy, Matter. And until then, 
Uh, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And please let me go to bed now. Just, I want to no. go to bed. I got to go. No.